Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured I would just do a chill, get ready with me, a really simple, easy, everyday kind of look. I'm about to get my hair cut in like two hours or so, hence why I just threw it up in a ponytail. And then after that, Mike and I are just gonna run some errands that we need to run. So it's gonna be a really simple, easy day. Not a lot going on here. So I figured I would do a really simple, easy makeup look. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing my everyday simple easy makeup look, then let's go ahead and get started. So since we're doing a really simple like one shadow look, I'm gonna go ahead and do everything else first. I'm not gonna do my eyes first. So for primer, I'm gonna go in with the Wander Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer from Charlotte Tilbury. I just have this really little baby size that I wanna use up. Looks like this. I think I've used this one other time and I was like not that impressed with it. I mean, it's just like a primer. <laughs> Nothing really special. I don't think that I would be going out and purchasing a full size. So that's it rubbed in. I mean, it gives like a pretty glow to the skin, but I feel like I already kind of had a glow going on from my sunscreen anyways. So I don't really know what it did. <laughs> For foundation, we're gonna go in with my Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. I have been obsessed with this. I've just been obsessed with it. I've been using it nonstop. I did actually just get in the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation. I just bought this. It was on sale for like 30% off on It Cosmetics website, but I want to do like a full face testing new products. So I'm not going to use it today. But like I said, I've been obsessed with this Shiseido foundation. I just think it is so stinking. Where's my beauty blender? I just think it is so stinking good. It's a good shade match for me. It blends in well. It wears really nicely on the skin. Okay, got this foundation all blended in. So this Wander Glow primer does nothing for my skin. Like it, actually the foundation's almost looking a little bit dry, like on my forehead. You are not gonna be able to tell like on the camera, but in person I can see it. And this has not done that to me before. I think this is like my fifth time, fifth or sixth time using this. And it has looked like perfect every other time. So. I don't even know if I'm gonna finish up that little baby size with the Charlotte Tilbury primer, not gonna lie. But I mean, it's it's not like the foundation looks bad on my skin. It just doesn't look as good as it normally does. Then for concealer, I caved and I bought the Shiseido concealer that kind of matches the foundation. I think I said in my testing my Sephora haul like video that if I liked this enough, I would pick up the concealer and I love the foundation. So I went ahead and picked up the concealer that matches it. Yeah, it's the Shiseido Synchro Skin uh, self Refreshing Concealer. So just like the foundation, I got the shade 101 Fair. Jessica Braun really loves this concealer and I really love her. So <laughs> I decided to pick it up. Plus I really love the foundation. Like if I didn't like the foundation as much as I did, I wouldn't have picked up the concealer too. But this is my second time using the concealer. And the first time I used it, I liked it. I think this is a pretty good combo together. I will say the applicator is pretty interesting. It's like a really interesting shape, like an hourglass with two, I don't know, like ball-y kind of things on the top. I don't know, top and bottom, but oh, that doesn't really bother me. And since we're just gonna do like a one shadow look, I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on my eyelids when I'm blending it. So as you can tell, the concealer has pretty good coverage. So I was just with one layer under my eyes and I feel like it covered all like the bags and purpley bags that I needed it to cover. Yeah, I am really, really enjoying this combination. Okay, then for powder, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. I haven't used this in a while and I saw it sitting there in my, uh, just fluffed up everywhere. I saw it sitting there in my uh, powder drawer and I was like, mm, I should pull you out and use you today. I'm gonna set my eyes. Oh gosh, this scent is like so strong. I mean, I like it, but it's like in the back of my throat right now. Oh. I mean, it smells good, but oh. Then for bronzer, I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Film Store Bronze and Glow Duo. I think this is gonna be my third or fourth time using it, and I'm loving this. This is a really nice contour shade. I use it just as bronzer. I don't really contour. I just bronze up my face, but it's really nice. It's pretty light, so I kind of have to go in with a little bit a little bit more than normal of it, but I don't mind that. Again, you've heard me say this a million times. I go pretty heavy-handed with bronzer and blush and all that, so the fact that this is lighter and I it's harder for me to go heavy-handed, I like that. But it's a really nice shade for my fair skin, and I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm glad I picked up the mini 
So like I said, I'm about to get my hair cut in like, I don't know, uh, two hours, an hour and a half or so. Normally, I don't think that I would be getting my hair cut right now. I really only get my hair cut like two times usually each year. And um, I've already gotten it cut twice this year. But cases are just like soaring right now in Ohio, COVID cases. And I really don't know if things are going to shut down. So I figure, you know what, before they do, <laughs> why don't I go ahead and schedule, get my hair cut, get it, you know, I was going to say trimmed, but I think I am going to get quite a few inches cut off of it. Because if not, I don't want things to shut down and then me not be able to get it cut later because when my hair gets long, I don't mind when it gets long, but it just gets so thick when it gets long and I can't do anything with it. Like it takes way too long to like straighten or blow dry or curl because there's just so much of it. And then there comes a point where it gets too long to even be able to like put it in a bun, <laughs> which because it's just so thick and it's just so much hair for like two little rubber bands to hold. So I figured, what the heck, why not stay ahead of it? get it cut before everything shuts down. I really don't know if our governor is gonna shut down everything again. He got kind of a lot of negative feedback when he did it earlier in the year, um, but I don't know. It's just crazy that cases are so high right now and people are like caring less. <laughs> it's just, it's insane. Like for Thanksgiving, Mike and I didn't go see either side of our families because we didn't want to be around them. I mean, obviously we wanted to be around them, but you know what I mean? We wanted to you know, be safe and not see them, which really was hard. And then I see like, and then I see so many people in my personal life and on my makeup Instagram, just hanging out with their family. Like it's no big deal. I'm like, okay, not that I'm judging, but like I'm kind of like this much. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to go in with highlight. It's just crazy. And like, I'm really hoping that 2021 is better than 2020. We shall see. Okay, this highlight is really pretty. It's definitely more on the, I say that as it's like blinding right here. It's definitely more on the lit from within glow, like not super insanely blinding. But I don't mind that, especially for like a simple everyday look. You know? Then for blush, we're gonna go in with my Little Baby Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. And this is in the shade Diffused Heat. It is really pretty. I got it in a duo with this and a mini of the Caution Hourglass Mascara. Hourglass Caution Mascara. And I am really glad that I picked up this shade. It is really, really pretty. I don't think I've used it on camera yet. I could be wrong about that. But I know I've used it, I think, one other time. And it's like such a beautiful shade. Clean up this down here a little bit. Okay, now for eyes, we're just going in with that Alme Velvet Foil Cream Shadow Blast from the past, right? These have been around forever. They're actually kind of hard to find. Last time I checked, I was able to find them on Target's app. I haven't really looked for them in person at my local Target, but on the app you can find them, and I think you can find them on Amazon. I'm not totally sure, but this is in the shade Golden Vibes. I've had it forever, and like, look how much is left. I don't know if I will ever go through this cream shadow, but it is such a simple easy cream shadow to use. I love using this, especially for work. It is so easy. You just tap it on, blend it out with your finger. It takes two seconds. Blend it up into your crease. Boom, done. <laughs> it's a really easy look. I actually have been using this like nonstop the last like three weeks for work, almost every day. It's just so easy and it makes it look like you actually like put time and effort into your look when really you took like 30 seconds, you know what I mean? And this shade is really, really pretty. And that's it. That's all we're gonna do. Sometimes I put bronzer in the crease too and then put this on top, but I just was feeling only this today. Then for brows, we're gonna run my Ilia Essential Brow Natural Volumizing Brow Gel through my brow gel, through my brows, <laughs> through my brow gel. I'm so bummed. My friend Diana bought this off my recommendation and she tried it and she was like, um, this is really clumpy in my eyebrows. And I was like, what? And I guess Ili she had tagged Ilya in her makeup or in her um, Instagram story. And they said that they reformulated it. So this must be the old formulation. And I am so bummed because when this is gone, now I'm like, am I going to repurchase it? Because I don't know if I will, if they reformulated it. And if she said it was really clumpy in her eyebrows, I don't want clumpy eyebrows. And then I felt terrible because she bought it off my recommendation. But I guess if they reformulated it, like, I didn't know that, you know what I mean? But I was just bummed. It's like my favorite brow gel. I'm actually gonna take a tiny bit of this cream shadow and run it along my lower lash line. I just always feel like I need something. I'm gonna look real funny doing this. So 
something along my lower lash line. There we go. Just gives a little something. I probably looked really cute doing that. <laughs> now for mascara. Since we are doing more of like a easy, simple, everyday look, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Bambi Eye Mascara. This is the brown shade. And it just isn't as like intense as a black mascara, which sometimes I don't like that. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like for this look, I won't mind it. This definitely isn't my favorite mascara. This was another Jessica Braun made me buy it moment. She loves this mascara and it's not that I hate it. It just kind of looks clumpy. It's got pretty clumpy on me. I mean, I did go in with two layers, but I felt like with one, it just wasn't enough. But again, that could be because it's the brown shade and not a black one, but I don't know. I mean, my lashes don't look terrible, but they're it's just a little clumpy for my liking. Now for lips, I'm just going to go in with my Sugar Rush. What is this? Like Lip Sip vegan lip oil I think it's in the shade fresh pressed I love this lip gloss I'm gonna be taking it off in a few minutes because I'm gonna have to wear a mask obviously when I'm getting my haircut and when Mike and I are running errands but I will just apply it really quickly I love this lip oil oh my gosh look how glossy look how glossy my lips are I feel like every imperfection in my lips just like disappear when I wear this they look so smooth Mm, I love it. And it smells like push pops, like from your childhood. I love it. Then to lock everything in, because I am going to be wearing a mask for a very long time today, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Everyone says this like locks in your makeup and makes it like not go anywhere. Mm, I've used it three or four times now and I haven't really experienced that, but it's okay. I still like it though. And that was it, you guys. That was my simple, quick, one shadow, easy makeup look for today. I love how this look turned out. I feel like it looks really put together. It looks like I actually tried and put a lot of effort into my makeup. But if I hadn't been like talking through this with you guys, this would have taken me like maybe 10 minutes, if that. And it just looks like polished, put together. You look nice. Not too overdone, but it's just a quick, fresh, simple look. And I, I love it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you liked it while you were watching, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for you guys. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.